Hey everybody, it's your girl Zena did it. So today I'm going to bring a quick tutorial. This style only took me about 20 minutes to do. Really fast. These are the tools that I use. Edge Control Rubber Man Comb Brush. And a Rapunzel Pack, 84 inches. And the color 1B. So I just did a deep conditioning overnight. Right now I'm just doing a quick blow dry. Showing you how good and flowy this blow dry is going to be. I use a deep conditioning, uh, leave-in conditioner, my Zenith Hair Crack. If you haven't heard, watch more videos, you'll see about this hair crack. Got a really full head of hair, but I am going to cover that up by doing a middle part ponytail. So. I am um, doing a middle part so that I can cover up the other side. I really didn't. I always do side parts, so this time I'm going to try a middle part since it's not my thing. I'm just trying something different. And especially for those of you who love middle parts, this will be an easy style for you to learn how to do within minutes. You want to hurry up and just do a quick style for work for the week or you got somewhere to go and your hair is not done. All you need is one braid pack and you'll be able to achieve this style. So right now I'm just checking, showing you guys that side is cut. I'm going to cover it up with just a little bit of hair and I'm going to show you how much it's going to cover up. It's going to be like so perfect you're not even going to be able to tell that my hair was cut underneath. So since I'm not really into middle parts, I'm just making a decision like, hmm. Should I do a braid down the middle? I'm, I'm just gonna go ahead and do a braid down the middle. So, I think it'll make me feel it. You know, feel the swag even more. I'm not a middle part type of chick, but I'm gonna like this. Using some Murray's Edge Wax, which is my favorite. If you all know, whoever's been keeping up. Put a little edge control. Keep those hairs on my way. And I'm getting ready to do a middle part braid. <clears throat> I always use a comb. I'm going to tell you guys why I use a comb so much. It gets the strands flat as possible. I'm telling you. It's true. If you use a comb with smaller teeth, rather than a brush when you do your ponytails, I swear, just, just, just believe me, your ponytails are going to be so flat, comb through fully, like, that's why people's hair fall out from wearing ponytails, because they don't comb it out. My hair is fully combed out before I'm putting in a ponytail. Guess what? I don't even like ponytails, but today I'm going to wear a ponytail, and it could last me all week long. I've seen people go two weeks with the same little braid ponytail I've done before, but that's just by preference. So, yeah, I'm not a ponytail type of chick, but I know how to get a ponytail really, really slick. And the way I do that is I use a small tooth comb. It gets all the strands all the way combed through. It's just, I just don't like a wrinkly, balled up, bunched up ponytail, so... Just letting you guys know why I'm using this comb. So since this is a side that I parted to like cover up my haircut, I have to securely extra, extra lay this hair down because if it lifts up, I mean, it's not going to be bald like no sides, but you know, I just don't want it to lift up. I want my hair to stay flat. So... I worked on that side first so that I can make sure that um, that side stays flat and is dry by the time I get to the other side and want to start on the ponytail part. So I got that part out of the way. I am going to get ready to start the braid in the middle. So I just need all the hairs out of my way for now extra secure 
so I'm actually just extra, extra gelling it. <laughs> um, I use Murray's Edge Wax. I used a little bit of Got To Be Glue. And I used a little clear gel. It was like a yellowish gel. Eco Style. Eco Style Gel. So, why wouldn't I know the name of it? Because I don't use gel in my hair. But today, I am. Because, yeah. I need this hair to lay down. But my hair so just like super straight and blow dry. And, um, I just didn't want my hair to be, like, dipping waves and curling up. So, that's why I blow dried it first. And use the edge control first. And then I put gel on top. Because the edge control keeps it flat, straight. Um, gel and wet stuff just will make my hair curl up. So, that's why I blow dried it before putting all the stuff in it. So, now I am starting to move the other side of my way so I can get ready to do my middle part braid. That's that tribal braid. So soon, later on down the line in this video, you'll see why I picked this style, who was the inspiration behind it, what made me do it, because it's going to be so versatile. I'm just like really zooming in, trying to make sure I get this braid like really nice yes and make sure you get that grip on there i have to start my braid from the tip 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 like beginning of my forehead because i have a widow's peak and for some reason the widow peaks just it just doesn't stay if i don't start my braid like right at the edge I really don't like my widow's peak, so that's a number one reason why I don't wear middle parts. So I think I'm getting away with the middle part by putting a braid in it instead of just having a part. Just being honest. So yeah, I just do that one little braid down the middle. And make sure that's that eco style gel. Got to be glued. And the edge wax by Murray's. So I'm just making sure that I um show you guys what I'm using. I put a little gel back here because it's fine. It's just the back. Um it's not really gonna do too much. I just really like my ponytail to be slick. Like in the front. <laughs> it's not gonna wave up too much in the back is what I'm saying. So I'm just kind of digging the gel through my hair so that I don't have to, like, do layers of um, applying gel or products, period. I see a couple of people, they might have two layers or three layers of them gelling and slicking their hair down before they actually get to the surface top of, you know, laying everything down together. So I'm, like, digging the gel through my hair. So it can all be laid. Once I put my comb through, it'll just all go through all my strands once I'm putting the comb through. So that's why I'm doing that. You see my hair is, you know, going down, hanging more. I'm really digging that product through there. And uh, I didn't want to put a lot of edge control on my hair. Because I know that I can easily rinse this gel out. I mean, the edge control too, but I'm just kind of, I don't know, conserving both of the products by using both of them. I just know my hair is just like up to the person who's doing their ponytail. Whatever works best for you, that's what product you use. Whatever works for making your ponytail flat, that's what you use. What I like to use is mostly the Murray's Edge Wax. I'm, I don't really like putting God to be glued on my hair. I don't at all. But I put it on the top so that I can make it just stay. But my hair is well conditioned underneath. And has the edge control and a little bit of gel. So it's just like, you see that? I don't have to put got to be glued all throughout my hair. So yes, I put a little on the top and that was only on the sides of the front to keep that slick, slick look in the front. So 
As you can see, I'm working through the Eco Style Gel with a small tooth comb because all my strands are getting combed through. That is the purpose of a good ponytail. No strand left behind. <laughs> just no bunched up ponytails. It's just not cute. So make sure your ponytail is really slick. As directed. <laughs> um, just slicking it rickety. Slick it rickety. Um, going up under there and make sure that all the strands are flat because I want everything slick. So, that's edge control right here because I'm going to make sure that part doesn't wave up. So, that's how I put the edge wax right there. So, my edges is my main priority on what I want to be slick and not waved up. I don't know why. I don't like waves at certain points <laughs> who doesn't like a slick ponytail that's all i'm saying so just make my ponytail really slick as i can and as you can see it's just curling up over there from that gel so just making sure that i get it flat <laughs> that was gel and i used it because it was useful still I'm just going to slick that with my comb and swoop it on back of there behind the ear. I don't know. See what I'm going through? It's just... <laughs> Look what I have to go through. And I still... I just can't get away from it. Anyways, I'll get over it. Temporary style anyways. So... I'm going to get all of this hair to a ponytail and make sure it's all combed through all right. Slick, slick, neat ponytails. You feel me? Okay. Make sure it's laying. Make sure it's laying. Ex extra lay. Extra lay. For the extra slay. <clears throat> I'm just combing through my ponytail and making sure that I have that comb all the way through so I don't have a problem with the rest of my process. So, y'all see those muscles? Do you see the muscles? <laughs> yeah, it's from all that hair and stuff, and lift a little weights, you know, you know. But yeah, this is all the exercise I need for my muscles doing hair, kicking butt. Mm. I always use the big rubber bands that come off the hair packs. So, I'm just showing you that it's not those small little rubber bands. They will pull your hair out so fast. So, I don't know. I really like the rubber bands that come out of the braid packs. So, I always save them. So, that's what I'm going to use to secure my ponytail. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Okay, so I'm just going to make sure that I have everything slick all the way in the back, behind. Got to make sure everything is slick, you know? I can't see back there, but I don't want anybody else to be looking behind me in the store. Like, oh my God, everything's perfect except for the back. What happened there? I wonder who did it. Zena did it. <laughs> So yeah, I'm just making sure it's really slick back there too. So my rubber band was just there to like hold the hair out of my way. So now I'm gonna actually really put my rubber band on and tighten that ponytail on it. Wrap it around a couple of times. Got me a little bun for now. So me making sure that my hair is slick all the way around. I am preparing to put on some black strips 
I don't know if you guys use black strips, but I do sometimes, depending on the hairstyle. So I'm gonna put some black strips on and make sure my hair is just staying at a hold while I finish off the breasts. So just be patient with me, guys. And just watch how I put this ponytail on. Like, you guys are going to be like, okay. She just put that ponytail too, too fast. We're putting on ponies in one minute, I'm telling you. I don't know if you're a person that really likes your ponytail slick, but... If you don't have to slick your ponytail up... You gotta make sure that haircut is really covered. Like, I really don't want nobody to be able to tell that I have my haircut. Um, only because I don't really feel the look of, yeah, waving up already. I don't be liking the look of, um, you know, the shaggy look. So when my hair is freshly cut again, I'll wear that side out. So right now I just chose to do a style that will cover it while I'm letting it just get thicker and grow out for the next, you know, haircut on the side, a little design and stuff. So yeah, just gotta get behind that ear, make sure everything's flat with that comb. Can't help it. <clears throat> Look at that. Just really slick. I do not play any games. Like, it's so serious. I know y'all just so ready for me to just put this ponytail on already. It's coming, it's coming, it's coming. So, yeah, I'm going to use this hair called the Rapunzel Braid by Rasta Free. And um, I just can't wait for you guys to see how long it is. I'm going to be like, wow, that's really long. Just uh, mm. This is my favorite comb brush, which is like basically six combs formulated into a brush like look or whatever and i use it all the time like i just can't help it so um if you guys want to find the perfect tool for detangling and combing out i suggest you try that brush like i have people hooked on this brush trying to figure out where to get it from and i think it's like three dollars for this brush at your local beauty supply store so yeah try that brush out it's really awesome um, man, my ponytail wasn't really this full and long and thick, uh, last year because I had a little incident and found a little spot in my hair and I was like, oh my God, I have to take care of my hair. So I'm really proud of my journey right along with the rest of my customers and clients. I was just like, wow, it's time to catch up with you guys. So, um, I'm getting my hair back. I'm getting my mojo back. Um, I had put Got To Be Glued on there one more time because I had did all that movement with tightening and flattening and retightening my ponytail, making sure that everything is flat. So, now that I'm done, I just added a little bit of Got To Be Glued, and this is now the edge control on my edges because I'm like, this stuff has to stop waving up, like, really. Please stop waving up on me. <laughs> it's going to be all right, though, because I'm going to tie this bad boy down. It's really about to be over for this ponytail and all these waves. So thanks to my ancestors out there. <laughs> I really love my curls, but when I'm doing a ponytail, I just want a slick, slick ponytail. And I'd rather not press and flat iron it and put spritz on it to make it just... Be just straight, straight, straight. So, yeah. Alrighty, so here are the black strips. It's a wrap strip. 
Um, I use the black ones because it's really good with the holding uh, technique. <clears throat> I just feel like the white ones are really, really thin. And I feel like they don't hold as much. So I'm going to spray this African Essence um, Hair Spritz. I like to use the African Essence one, the purple kind, because it smells really good. And um, yeah, African Essence has like the best holding spray to me. I just, I'm addicted to them. So I used to use that brown one, but now I'm hooked on this one. Uh, right now I'm separating my hair into threes as far as like, like I was going to do a French braid. So I separate into threes, pull it, make sure everything's tight while I got these wrap strips on. So you guys ready for the Rapunzel braid? 84 inches long, baby. Yes. Got this, uh... Rasta free um color is actually a number four it's not my hair color but guess what <laughs> it's about to work today and i'm about to show you how wrap that rubber band around your ponytail first when you wrap that big rubber band around your ponytail make sure that it's really tight and secure and then you separate the braid itself into threes also while you're separating the braiding hair, um, you're going to make sure that you get your hair to blend in with it. So right now, I'm wrapping it around. I have three strands in my hand, but eventually I will be separating the braiding hair into threes so that it could create three strand braid all the way down because of course my hair is not as long. So I have to eventually split these strands up that I have separated. I know I look crazy doing all this with my arms like that. I'm trying to get a little bit more closer for you guys so you can see I'm separating that one piece. And I'm making sure that the other piece is still held with my hair. And as you can see, I am... <laughs> unraveling this long 84 inches of hair so um rapunzel is doing her hair and rapunzel is showing you guys how she takes her hair off and put it back on just kidding but yeah so um just making sure that my hair and the braiding hair is being pulled as tight as possible in the end of my hair, I have to make sure that I tuck it. I have to make sure this held tight because if I don't, the ends are going to stick out. And if the ends stick out, what is my braid going to look like? A porcupine. It just can't happen. So just tight grip, no slip. Separate those strands. Hold on tight to it. Um, make that braid from two strands into three. Take your time, especially using Rapunzel, because it's so long and it's just you. If so, you're the only one who's going to be able to unravel that. Like, if you don't have any help or if nobody's doing your hair for you. So, it might be easier if somebody else is doing your hair, but, you know, I'm doing mine myself. So, yeah, the, you know, getting your hands through all the way is a big thing. You have to have a grip. And to get through that, you have to hold on to that baby. Um, just making sure that I tuck my ends. I'm really not worried about the top part. As you can see, you can tell where my hair is at the top, but I don't care about that part. All I care about is securing the ends because the top is going to stay in because the length is there. But your ends don't have any more length when you're there. So you have to make sure you're holding on to that. So that's why you see me tightening and pulling and holding strong and being patient with my movements because I don't want to let go. If I let go, my braid is over. I don't want to start over. So I put a little bit of product on there so I can get it a little juicy. Don't have any dry hands hanging out. And it'll be like an easier tuck for me. So... Um, just watch me as I, you know, take my time and secure this braid and make sure that it's tucked. I'm really not playing with this tuck game. 
and the grip, you know, just holding on tight to it. Like, it's there, and I'm going to make sure that it doesn't poke out. So it's not really that I don't want my hair to be told from the fake hair. It's just that it needs to be held in there, period. Like, I really don't care about the color. But you can see I was trying to pull it out of there to see if I had it secure enough. So no matter how many times I got to hold on and pull and pull my hair through, I will not give up. No, I won't give up now. I done came this far. Yes. So I am going to braid this all the way down. And let me tell you, if you never braided with Rapunzel hair before, you about to find out how it is braiding it all the way down <laughs> to the ends on your own. So yeah, get ready for this. I feel like my braid is coming out really good. So yeah, I'm braiding it all the way down. And I ended up <laughs> showing you guys like what I have to go through to braid it all the way down to the end. So have fun braiding down your braid. If you're using Rapunzel, awesomeness. I put rollers on here, perm rod rollers. And after I dipped it, it came out curly. So that's what the Paramount Rollers do. I'm loving this braid, feeling myself. And I hope you guys like it too. I hope you guys can do you a fast braid within just a couple of minutes. I'm just showing you guys this braid. And I wanted to wrap this braid around and show you what style I really was going for because I was inspired. And my daughter just showed me a picture of Mary J. Blige. She had a halo braid with a middle part. And I said, I'm going to do that. So here's the halo look with the middle part down the middle. Only difference is I have a braid. Tell me if you like it. Hit that like button by letting me know. <laughs> Leave a comment down below. Subscribe. And I'll be sending you guys more tutorials. Did I slate it or not? Just let me know what you think. So right now I just posted uh, on this video some before and after. So I'm just showing you how big my little blow dry is um, as I go through my journey. And I will be keeping up my clipping my ends. And here is my afters. Don't you just love before and afters? Now look how long this braid is. Okay. The curls popping. The Rapunzel slaying the long look ponytail on fleek thank you guys for watching stay tuned for more guys i appreciate you all